Hello everybody, it's Jennifer. Um, some of you are asking how to do uh, the beehive technique. It's very popular using it as a fill-in. Um, I like it because it kind of gives a, a, give a lacy effect in my quilling. Um, as an example, and what I'm going to show you a little bit today, this is like a little baby rattle, the ornament that I had made. And please forgive the yellowing on it because I used a lacquer spray that is uh, not labeled non-yellowing. And what happens over time is your beautiful white paper turns yellow as it did here. So it looks very yucky. So make sure you use a, a spray, clear coat spray that says non-yellowing. And then it will stay nice and pretty and white. Okay, so what you do is you take your uh, strip of paper. And before I start rolling, I want to show you some examples. This is what I'm going to be doing today. You can see it makes teeny tiny little beehives. And to do those, I used a fine tipped slotted tool. And you can see it's very, very, very thin. And then I also have um, a regular quilling tool, regular slotted quilling tool like this. And you can see that the, the slit is a lot wider. And it makes it this size. So you can have a smaller or a larger. So depending upon what kind of detail you're looking for, you can use different tools as well. Just thought I'd throw that out there. Okay, I'm using 1 8 inch uh, paper. And for these, I'm, I'm using uh, the fine tipped slotted tool. And what I do is I start down here. It's probably about <clears throat> maybe a, a half inch down from the top of the strip and I just roll one two three four and then I move and adjust my fingers down about the same amount of space and then I'm going to roll again one two three four and you just keep going to this effect And I kind of am, am a little bit slow doing this. The more you do it, the faster you get, but I have older eyes, and I think my prescription on my progressives are getting <laughs> a little bit old, so I'm not as, as good as seeing up close as I used to be. But anyway, you just keep doing this until um, you finish the whole strip, or if you find that you've got the length of the strip that you want to make, uh, you can stop. It's all according to taste. I know some people when they put theirs on, they do it a little bit more bunched in together. Some people prefer that look. Um, for these, I kind of want the uh, delicate lacy look since it is a baby's first ornament. And so, uh, I'm going to show you how I'm going to put mine in. doesn't have to be 100% perfect because these all turn out pretty cool when you get them in. I think I'm going to stop right here just to, for time's sake. See, I can't see. <laughs> ay, ay, ay. Okay. I'm going to snip this with my handy dandy scissors. And then what I'm going to do is I'm going to Take and just put a fine line of glue. One thing about quilling is it doesn't take a lot of glue. I'm just going to put this in line with what I already have there. I'm going to push it in to fill it in a little bit. And then when I get to the end of where that piece is, I'm just going to simply flip it over and go back in the opposite direction. And this way, when you put the beehive in, it looks nice and neat and uniform. Okay, I'm going to rotate and go the other direction. And just squeeze it in place and then hold it for just a little bit until the glue sets. And then as you can see, 
it gives a nice little feel. Kind of looks like lace. So that's my tutorial on how to do beehive technique. Hope you've enjoyed. Uh, I want to say I'm glad that we've got so many members. Um, it's kind of exciting getting all these quilling people together and getting to meet one another, even though it's across the world. But happy quilling, guys. And if you have any questions, don't hesitate to ask. Thanks. To give you an idea of some things that you can do the beehive technique in, and I'm sure some of you have already seen this uh, used on pictures on the internet, but uh, here's some ballet slippers that I had quilled um, as a fill. This is something new um, that I had done. I was inspired by Bob Crane, who had done some Christmas ornaments. He actually uses his um, saw, uh, scroll saw, I think, to cut out um, some wooden shapes, and then he filled the spaces with paper strips, the quilling strips. And um, I became kind of obsessed and started doing all kinds of things. So I had done um, this uh, sugar skull and filled in the open spaces in the wood with um, some different uh, shapes. And as you can see, I used it in the teeth with the beehive and the cheeks and uh, some of the other uh, fill in there. Um, the ornament that I was working on earlier to show you how to fill that in there. And here's another one that I had done on um, a styrofoam foam shape. And um, I used the beehive to fill in around the poinsettia. And uh, I think it just gives a nice touch. Some people say they don't like it because it's too easy and it's not regular quilling. It's just another technique that you can use. And I think it doesn't detract away from like some of the main images in your work. And, it's, and it gives a lacy effect. And I, I kind of really like that. And I just wanted to show you too and touch base. Um, if you haven't already um, looked at our website, we have a website, contemporaryquilling.org. Um, there's a section there where you can click on to uh, join us. And um, there's also a members only section. And if you see, you can go there and see the video where it says video streams, you can actually go through and click on that. And that has all the videos um, that we've made in one, uh, area and then it also gives you links for the uh, t the competitions that we have quarterly and yearly so if you haven't connected there um, there's also a membership de directory where it's searchable you can look and see if there's people that are quilling nearby to you so have fun um, quilling is is cheap to do and it's fun and you can it's uh, very uh, very neat way that you can do things that it's versatile and um, all it takes is a little bit of creativity uh, to see what you can come up with and make. Have fun!